guys y'all know what's so funny i'm sitting here just looking is all the different shapes and sizes of the various species of birds in this one frame alone right here it really is crazy just how how much variety there is in god's creation you got it this way you got the biggest and meanest one right there <clears throat> cornholio big old thing dangling from his nose weird as elijah calls it old man skin on his head some sort of weird zz top beard hanging from his chest all sorts of weird weird deformities weird shapes you got a smaller version of the same right there oh my gosh and the big thing scared of that tiny little thing right there some weird red mohawk different colors somehow more imposing and scary than the big one you got these little ones little like you could just hug and squeeze them they're so soft and fuzzy they try to act scary but they just look they look hilarious when they try to do that they look more silly than anything cute little yellow beaks and adorable the way they try to pick and eat their food they look like they're made of play-doh or like cloth so soft we got itty bitty little thing right there not to mention the different noises they make we got the most human friendly one right there and pablo we got the least human friendly one right here trying to trying to hurt me stop it hey stop it stop it hey no no get back get back now go 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 why are you like this for what did i do to you what did i do to you This is your fault. You're ruining our friendship. How many, how many of y'all have had someone just, for no reason whatsoever, just start taking out all their frustrations on you? How many friendships ruined because of, of jerks like him? I just came out here minding my own business. I kept my distance. I started right here. I didn't even get anywhere near over there. He's the one who wandered all the way over here looking for trouble, trying to be mean to me. When have I ever been mean to you, Cornholio? I've always been your friend. This is how you repay me. This is how you treat me. Not cool. I'm sure, sadly, many of you can relate to me and Cornholio's troubles. I'm not actually kicking him. I'm just trying to make him back up, make him keep his distance from me. What was I saying? I was talking about the different shapes and sizes of all the birds out here. Oh yeah, my personal favorite, the little itty bitty babies over there, the up and comers. There was an even littler baby actually, I don't know where it went, I don't see it anywhere. I thought there was a itty, I thought there was a little itty bitty baby somewhere, I don't know. Here's what I do know is that I can't focus on crap because of this punk right here get go get get back what's that weird jumping thing you're doing get back i am not gonna let you you know what my viewers have told me i need to stand up to him quit being a baby quit being scared quit being a sissy that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna hurt you but i'm gonna stand up to you no more being mean to me Cornell. you you back up now you back up now this is my land not yours you're a turkey get back get back Get back, yeah, that's what I thought. Guys, I cannot believe it actually worked. I stood up to Cornholio, I stood my ground, and look what happened. He walked over there, he won't even mess with me anymore. I kinda did close him in, but you know what? It's what he gets. I'll let him out in a second, don't worry. I just want to finish my video in peace without being pecked at on my legs. There, right there, guys, I hope was an inspiration and an example to stand up for yourself when the time is right. 
There's no reason you have to let anybody treat you unfairly and treat you mean. It's okay to stand up for yourself, to hold your ground, to demand to be treated with respect and fairness. Nobody deserves to be treated that way or treated with anything otherwise. You know what I mean? Now I can kind of sit here in peace and try to find that little baby I was looking for that I had just seen a second ago. <clears throat> I still don't see it. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess it's not there. But no, isn't it just so fascinating, the different shapes and sizes of all these birds? It's so cool, huh? What else is there to video on this? Oh, I forgot the peacocks. Those fine peacocks. I think somebody asked me to make a video about them and show how they're doing. They're, as you can see, they are two peas in a pod. Walking every single which way together. Hanging out. They're kind of, we don't know if they're male or female yet. The, they haven't really set themselves apart with the color yet to, to really know. If I had to guess, I don't know anything about peacocks, so... I don't want to speak too soon, but if I had to guess, I would think that one is a male and that the one in, on the right is a female. The reason I think that, or the reason I'm predicting that is because I know that in bird species, the males are always more colorful and the females are a little bit more dull colored. The males have to be super pretty and like pompous to attract mates, to get the girl's attention, the female's attention. And so based on knowing that, that one has like a super like shiny colory neck great y'all go behind the little dirt mound and hide from me nice yeah this one right here obviously very very colorful it has that weird metal reflective stuff all over its neck that one over there that just flew on top of the fence doesn't have nearly as much more of a dull color oh i want to see you fly up there come on do it there you go nice <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. A little tiny bit on the top, but not nearly as much. I don't know if that's because of there's an age difference. Maybe that one hasn't developed as much as this one has yet. But just, if I had to guess, I would guess based on that. Male and female. Who knows, though? Oh, hey, look. Cornelio busted out. I didn't even notice. Cornelio busted out, and he went over there. He could have easily went... Think about it he was right there he could easily went right there and attacked me where i just was but he didn't he went over there started minding his own dang business what do you know that right there i'm proud of myself guys that right there is how you stand up for yourself it's how you stand up to an angry turkey i feel so good about myself I wasn't maybe i was a little bit mean i wasn't violent i didn't have to do anything over the top just had to stand my ground and he, he's just like a typical bully as soon as the person they're bullying stands their ground they're like oh but, but, but what they just absolutely bamboozled they don't know what to do next actually one more thing that i just remembered i'll talk about before i end this video is i remember in, in like different karate movies and stuff like that that i've seen kung fu stuff like that they always talk about how, like, with great power comes great responsibility. If you know something, like karate and kung fu, if you're good at it, to where you can seriously hurt people, it's your moral obligation to use those things for good, not for evil. Using it for good is defending someone who can't defend themselves, who's being bullied or picked on, or defending yourself. Being a bully or using it for evil is... Picking on others for no reason that can't defend themselves. Going after others, trying to inflict violence and just trying to show off. Those are the bad reasons to use those kinds of gifts and those kinds of skills. And I could probably go with just about anything in life. The gifts that God gives us, the things that we're good at, we need to use those for good. Use those to help people, to make the world a better place. Not use it to hurt people, make the world a worse place. <laughs> right, Chi Chi? There, right there's her yes celebration. Yes, daddy. Yes. Right, she. Right, she. Right, she. Do it again. Right, she. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you silly little dog. Yep. Old she is back for the day. 
Kim will probably come get her before night. I'll have to head back soon anyways, but good to bring back old times. With that said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.